LuisSandoval5.com. We go to Abel Sanchez. Abel, he looks ready. He looks good, man. How's everything? How are you guys feeling before the fight? You know what? Everything is 100% to this point. Uh, just another couple restless days. <laughs> how, was, how, how do your hands really feel after that? I mean, he hit you with some real hard personic gunshots in here. How, how does it for you on the other end of those punches? I used to be able to do 10, 12 rounds with my fighters uh, three or four times in, in, a, in a session. But with him, if I don't do them at the end, it's impossible for me to do because the heel of my hand really, really hurts. A guy like Willie Monroe, has he faced a style like that before, Abel? I mean, obviously in amateurs he has, but as a pro, has he faced a guy slick and boxer like, like Monroe? Well, you know, I'm sure he's faced similar. Uh, but uh, until you step to the ropes, you, uh, Willie may do something different than we're accustomed to. Willie may... Uh, uh, may have a different game plan, so we have to be ready for whatever Willie brings. Uh, I just have to have Gennady in the best, not only shape, mental, physical, but uh, preparedness uh, to do battle in whatever fashion Willie wants to bring to us. Do you think with his style he could last 12 rounds? I know you always say nobody at 160 because that's what Gennady. Do you see Monroe may maybe being able, or do you see an, uh, a short night? You know, this training camp was uh, very uh, painful for me on my hands. Um, uh, so. I don't think, I, you know, I honestly don't think if, if, unless Willie just completely runs and holds and doesn't want to fight, I don't see this fight going past the sixth or seventh round. Abel, I know you get tired of this question, but, you know, assuming you guys win this fight, what is next, Abel? I mean, there's Cotto seems like he's fighting Canelo. It doesn't, doesn't seem like Gennady could get that big fight that could transition him into the mainstream. What, what do you have to say about that? Fortunately for me, I don't have that headache. <laughs> you know, it's Tom Loeffler and Oleg Herman and Max Herman that have that headache. Uh, lucky for me, I only get to train them in the gym. Uh, so I know they'll put something together. I know that uh, for the last couple of months, even while this fight is being negotiated, they're already negotiating the next one. So I know that once this fight's over, we'll all sit down and, and they'll tell us what they have in mind. Would you rather stay put at 160 or I mean, would you, as a trainer, would be okay going for 168? Bernard Hopkins made 20 defenses of his middleweight title. What does everybody keep asking Gennady to move up? <laughs> I don't get that. It's one fighter, Andre Ward. That's what they want. You know what? Bernard made 20 defenses of his middleweight title, and he's fighting as a light heavyweight now. I, don't, I think that Ward's a great fighter, but uh, allow Gennady uh, to, to, now that he's so close to uh, Bernard's title, allow Gennady to fight these guys at 160 that, uh, that deserve a title shot and that, that merit a title shot and that work hard to get a title shot. What can the fans expect this Saturday night, Abel? What are we going to see for Gennady Golovkin? I think you're going to see a typical Gennady fight. Uh, he'll stock for the first couple rounds, and let's see how Willie depends decides to fight. If Willie runs, then most difficult. But uh, if Willie stays and wants to make it a fight, then I think we're going to have an explosive night one way or the other. Thank you very much.